Welcome to programming number four. We're going to be looking at the warm up side of your training and how to put that into your programming and your session. Why do the warm up? The reason that we have warm ups at the beginning is for a number of reasons. There is a lot of things that's going to be happening to prepare your body ready for what you're going to do in the training session. Firstly, you're going to, as it says, increase your body temperature. All of the soft tissue, your ligaments, your tendons and your muscles are all going to start to become warmer. And this is good because it means they become more pliable and it means that they can actually prime themselves ready for action. Secondly, we can use the warm up to prepare your body for the movements you're going to be doing. So if you're going to be doing pull ups, we can start to prepare our body for that particular mechanic and that particular type of technique that is needed to do that action. On top of allowing ourselves to physically practice, we also allow ourselves to mentally prepare for the training session ahead. We can use what's called the neuromuscular pathways, which is what our brain telling our muscles what to do. And when the preparation allows us to start getting that firing and start getting our brain ready for the uh, training that we're going to be doing ahead of us. The primary reason for warm ups, however, on top of the preparation for physically and mentally is actually injury prevention. So if we are prepared, our body is absolutely ready to go. It means the likelihood of injury, of pulling, straining, spraining, anything is going to be lowered a dramatic amount. Warm ups are essential to make sure that you can train for years ahead without injury. One of the misconceptions about warming up is stretching. You do not want to be stretching cold muscles because they're going to be more likely to strain and sprain. It's like a cold elastic band. If you froze the elastic band and tried to pull it, it's more likely to snap. What you want to do is warm that muscle up, warm the elastic band up, and actually it's going to be much easier to stretch around and use. Therefore, if we're not doing stretching, what we want to do is the joint mobility that we did at the beginning of the course, and you want to warm up in a way that you're not stretching. So you could use myofascial release with foam rollers and lacrosse balls, and you can use exercise, which is the primary way to do it, to warm up the muscle to make it ready to, for use on the actual training. How do we go about doing this? Step one, is you want to do a general body warm up. Now, what this means is it doesn't necessarily have to be specific to the pull ups. If it has a little bit of pulling involved, that is great, but it doesn't necessarily have to. What you're trying to do is get the entire body warmed up. And you can do this in many, many ways. One of the ways in parkour and a lot of parkour trainers warm up is through what we call quadrupedal movement. And that means moving on all fours in different ways Actually, it uses the entire body and very quickly you can get warm in that way. Another option if you are a parkour practitioner is doing simple routes. Do many repetitions of a simple route that is very safe. It allows you to start warming the entire body up again. It is a whole body exercise. It means that technically you're switching your brain on and you're starting to have to be prepared to negotiate walls and rails and things. It's a great way of warming up and it allows you to prepare your body ready for other things. So if you're stuck in the gym and you want to warm up, something that is actually pretty good is using the rowing machine. So a rowing machine, it allows you to incorporate the legs and the arms. It incorporates some pulling as well, which means it is also going to be a little bit better specifically for the pulling action that we're going to be doing later. Another warm up technique is what we call the bicep openers and tricep openers. Now, these are introduced and they were introduced to me by uh, a gentleman called Julian Pinot from a group called StrongFit. And I'll put links in the description. These are really, really great ways of warming up the pulling action and opening up the biceps and triceps in different ways. It enables wider range of motion and it's a great way of warming up and preparing yourself for the pulling action. 
As you can appreciate, there are many ways of warming up. Just ensure that you are doing the entire body as a general warm up. You don't have to spend too long on it, but don't absolutely fatigue yourself to the point where you can't do the training session. Once you've done the general body warm up, so your body is starting to become prepared, you now want to start moving into the more specific type of warm up. Now, what this means is that we know we're going to be doing pull ups for our training. So we want to start preparing ourselves for actual pull ups. So you go into a second stage of warm up. And what we can do now is because we've gone through all the variations of pulling and you now know where you are and you sit on the scale of pulling, you will use one of the previous versions of a pulling exercise that we've gone through and use that as your warm up. As an example, if, for instance, you've been working on the red band and we've been using that as one of our examples, you could move all the way back to using the green band and use that as your warm up sets. So you use it to start reinforcing the mechanics and start getting your body used to doing what you're going to be doing for the actual work sets and your training. For another example, if you're doing normal body weight pull ups, so you're not using the band, what you could do is actually use a band for the warm ups. So you could grab the red band and start using it to help you reinforce the pull up, get the mechanics correct, make sure that your brain is prepared for what you're going to do. It also allows you to get your body position right and understand what muscle groups you're going to be using for the pull for when you go into the work sets and the normal pull up. So once you've picked what exercise you want to do, so again, if we're going to use the red band as the example for our work set, the green band we could use for, or even the blue band for our warm up set, you now want to do roughly two repetitions for two sets. So you're not fatiguing yourself, you're not doing anything other than working the mechanics. You can just do this twice, do two pulls, rest, do another two pulls, and that is the first part of the warm up for the specific section of pulling. In reps, five sets of three on the red band. You could use the green band as your warm up set. So you do two sets for two repetitions. So that's four pull ups with the green. You could then optionally put in an intermediate one at the blue band. So you would do another four reps. So two sets of two reps with the blue. Then you go and move into your work sets of three sets of five repetitions. So your 15 repetitions that you're doing for your entire training session. As another example for, let's say, normal body weight pull ups. So you're working on the normal body weight pull ups. You could use the blue band to be your first two sets and two reps of warm up. Then you could move to the red, which means that would be an intermediate two reps, two sets. And then you would move into your five repetitions and three sets of that on the body weight. Now we know what our program is going to consist of. It is going to be 23 repetitions. So we're going to do, let's say, four reps on here, four reps on here, and 15 reps on the body weight pull up. Heading back into the program, uh, you can see that on the template that we still have the normal session for Monday here, you can see that we've got that row, which is the 42 uh, weight and five reps, three sets. But if I head over here, you can see I've actually hidden another row which incorporates the warm up section. So we have a small description of what it is and what the, the band we're using is, but more importantly, we have the weight, the sets, and the reps again, and we can fill in our volume values right there. So again, it is nicely laid out to see exactly what you have to do on that day, and then you move down to the next day. Again, I can throw in the warm up there and finally the warm up on that one and now you can see that it has the warm up and the session
Now we've completed the programming side, we can see exactly what we need to do for each session every two to three days with our warm-ups, our joint mobility and the actual training and work sets. We should now have a good layout, an idea of how to get started and the things that we need to do to actually start getting stronger.